guys welcome back to another m crater lore video so today we're going to be doing a whole bunch of stuff uh with uh m crater as well as texture making and some mechanics as well so uh let's get started uh, the first thing that i wanted to do was actually get some textures made for some uh it's kind of like uh when you mow grass and the, the grass is still on the lawn and stuff like that that's the kind of idea that i'm going to be going for uh, which will allow us to dry it over time and then eventually uh, turn it into hay bales. So um, basically that's what I'm going for. I needed a texture that we could use for a model. And then for that model, I will basically make two versions. Uh, the first version is going to be the same color as the grass in the biome. And the second one will be more or less the um, actual dried hay. So uh, we'll eventually expand this mechanic to use items rather than being basically punched uh, with our hand but um, I wanted to get the uh, basic blocks set up in today uh, like for today's video and then we can always expand it in the near future so I've just been basically uh, adding some texture to these and then we'll basically go ahead and uh, do a final uh, detail work uh, with the um, lower shade now I was testing with the darker one and I was not too sure if I wanted to go with like entire dark ones so I just basically added a little bit of texture um, along the actual uh, grass part just to kind of separate it a little bit so it looked a little bit more different and then I was just kind of playing around with you know making these little parts a little bit uneven so it would um, look a bit more normal so i basically saved that and then i needed to create uh, a new palette color for the hay so i just basically copied around these three or those three i think and then i created basically um just started playing around with the settings just to kind of get a range that we could actually work with i didn't want it too bright uh, for example, like I don't want too much yellow in it. So because hay doesn't really have a lot of yellow in it, it has more of a pale color, uh, pale yellow, I guess. So I was just trying to get the right amount of shades per thing. And I was pretty happy with how this actually turned out in the end. So I basically just pasted over our existing ones and basically filled this in and that worked out really well. So uh, it'll, it'll look better in game, obviously. Uh, having a 2D texture is um, hard to represent what you're actually going to work with. So once I've done that, I went into Blockbench and I started modeling a uh, just a simple pane like this. And then I wanted to center it so I can get kind of like a kind of lift part like that. And then I just shrunk the side so I would get to ha like half of block kind of thing for the actual 16 by 16 and then I basically just uh, duplicated this a couple times and flipped it and then I basically rotated or duplicated it again and then rotated it around. This will kind of give the uh, impression that it will be kind of like um, messy kind of clear cut kind of idea when it's over there but we had to make sure that the UV was set up properly so I was just currently working on making sure that all the UV parts are uh, aligned properly with the right direction and everything like that. So that was pretty much it. That's all I needed to do. I needed to actually set the display settings though. So I was just going through here. I was making sure that the uh, tint index was set to one and everything else was pretty much good to go. So I could just go ahead and rename these and then we could move on to the display settings pretty sure i used the default block one and then we could uh, basically just align some of this up a little bit and just to kind of get it you know more normal so i like to put things sometimes on top of the heads or on the back of the entity i've been doing um tools that are actually blocks that are that go on to the back of the entity which is a kind of really cool little concept for the hat thing it's too bad that M Crater doesn't have um, a way to actually make hats uh, with blocks, un unfortunately. It would be really cool if you were able to do that. But uh, yeah, so basically with the um, slot index thing, I was just trying to get this to work with something that would actually look good. Uh, because I ended up just going with the default block one um, because I wasn't 
really sure what else to do with it. It's just an odd shape to work with uh, for the angle and stuff. So I need to set up the variable name for the texture and then we could go ahead and export that and save it. And once I've done that, I could just basically go ahead and set that just to see what it looks like, set up the variable name a little bit differently. And we were good to go for that as well. And then next, what I needed to do was go into mCrater and start importing all these assets. So basically I went to the resource tab. I started with um, importing the textures for the blocks. So we had two of those. I had to find where they were located just to be sure. I did see it move, but I wasn't sure where they went. So they're there. And then I needed to go ahead and uh, set up the models for the actual blocks. So or the textures for the actual models and stuff like that. So once we've done that, uh, I basically went to plants and then I created, I believe, um, a new folder for other because it wasn't really a flower, but it's kind of like more advanced mechanics. We'll eventually expand this into actually feeding livestock and stuff later on as well. Um, I still need to learn how to texture properly entities because I, I have been, I have absolutely no experience with that. So I need to kind of play around with it enough times in order to kind of get a feel for how to texture an entity before I can actually move on and actually record it. So, um, we'll probably start with something small like, um, a meerkat or something like that. And then we can move on to... Uh, something a little bit larger uh, for like cattle or something but uh, the end goal is to have uh, brand new mechanics for cows and making food and stuff from them so uh, basically like uh, dairy cows there's actually quite a few different types of species of cow and certain ones are used for certain things so we'll probably expand that but um, yeah so basically I just wanted to make sure everything was set up for the um, the color on the map that should be set to plant plants and then I just kind of basically uh, set some of these properties for the um, thing and I wanted a uh, condition where if it was not on a block uh, with a face that was downwards that it would basically um, n not be able to be in a valid uh, placement p position so basically what I was doing was I was just setting up some of these things here. I also added a additional condition uh, which uh, basically allowed me to test if there was um, a block face facing up below the block that was like a solid uh, face. So that was allow that basically allows for um, making sure that they don't stack on top of each other. So that was kind of important based on the model itself. So um, it just looked really weird with it being floating and stuff, even though there was a block that was an air underneath it. So, but yeah, outside of that, it was uh, one of the things that I needed to fix with that particular procedure. And then this one, I needed to create a um, script that will basically test if it's under four uh, for the, I can't remember what I called it, but <laughs> can't really see from here. Uh, but basically what it's going to do is it's going to make sure that if it's under four, it's going to increase the variable by one. If it's at four though, then what we want to do is we want to update the block to the height or the, the actual dried version of this particular block. So uh, once we've done that, I just needed to uh, go to the generation, make sure everything was set up and then save it. And then I needed to basically duplicate this particular block and we'll set up the uh, actual hay one for this. We're not going to have any uh, tint color and we had to adjust a few other settings just to make sure that everything was set up properly. Um, of course there's going to be uh, some things that needed to be done like we didn't really need the random tick update. I don't think I disabled that. I should probably go back and do that but you know these procedures we don't need um, because we're not using a script for that and uh, this I could finally update the procedure for to switch the block over so basically just moving all these over into the other uh, section and I needed to figure out where to put it <laughs> it's 
So now they're in the proper folder and I could basically go ahead and put those under that folder and then we'll put another folder for the Hay version. And now it's a little bit more organized and easier to find. So once we've done that, I needed to set up the mechanics for the grass uh, for when we actually punch it. And that's basically what I needed to do for basically when the block is broken by a player. Uh, what I wanted to do was I wanted to go ahead and test if not in, I believe, creative. So basically if they're not in creative mode, um, basically what I want to do is I want to go ahead and uh, replace the block. Probably don't need the other checkboxes enabled. And then I'm just going to set the... Um, the actual version that was the cut grass, not the actual um, hay version. And then I needed to set up that procedure for all of them, but I re realized that it was a specific procedure name. So I wanted to kind of generalize the procedure name and basically reset the procedures for all the other ones. Uh, this way it's just easier to identify that it's you know being used for more, more than one thing. And then we can always put a, ex expansion onto that procedure for the block itself if we need to in the future. All right, so in game I wanted to test in survival and something wasn't really working. It should be replacing the block, but it's actually dropping. It took me a while to figure this out, but that's basically what the model looks like. Looks really good when it's actually laying down like this. And uh, it's just a matter of basically getting the um, block to stay. It took me a little while to figure out what was going on. Uh, I played around with settings, but it turned out to be the hardness uh, because it was set to zero. I guess the game doesn't register it as um, being set to uh, a certain hardness and it just breaks the block as soon as it's placed. So once you once I've done that, I basically just tweak the settings a little bit. I used 0 0.05 or 0 0.5, I think for the hardness to get the right hardness level. And that seemed to do the trick for breaking it. So we were able to um, get all that set up. So yeah, basically that's the hay version and it turned out really good. I'm pretty happy with uh, how it turns out. It does automatically um, turn to the hay version over time, but it does take a, quite a bit of time for it to automatically do that because it has like four stages that it needs to go through. But if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.